hypoparathyroidism. Hypoparathyroidism is an uncommon condition, but if the patient develops, the patient body secretes abnormally low levels of parathyroid hormone. So what are the important causes for the development of decreased parathyroid states? One is the important cause if you see surgical removal of the parathyroid glands is the most common cause in the adults. Other causes congenital absence of the parathyroid glands as we can see in the Dijot syndrome especially in the infants as well as in the children. Radioactive iodine therapy or the idiopathic autoimmune atrophy of the parathyroids may cause this condition. And the failure of the development of the third and the fourth pharyngeal pouch can also develop hypoparathyroidism. If you see all these causes, genetic disorders comes under very important uh, etiological manifestations under hypoparathyroidism. Example, if you see abnormal parathyroid gland development, abnormal PTH synthesis and uh, activating mutations of the calcium sensing receptors which is autosomal dominant in nature where there is a hypocalcemia or the sporadic isolated hypoparathyroidism is seen and uh, other etiological manifestations what we can see over here are the post surgical. So after the removal of the thyroid gland you will also remove the parathyroid gland along with the thyroid so there will be hypoparathyroidism there are autoimmune causes too. So autoimmune polyglandular syndrome, isolated hypoparathyroidism due to activated antibodies to the calcium sensing receptors, infiltration of the parathyroid gland and the radiation induced destruction of the parathyroid glands. One of the important cause even though it is rare that it is uh, hungry bone syndrome, HIV infections all comes under the causative factors for the development of hypoparathyroidism. Now, let us talk about the gross pathology. There will be a mild shrinkage of the gland and a microscopic picture can be represented with the replacement of chief cells by the fibrotic tissue. And if you see the clinical manifestations, because the parathyroid gland is responsible for the maintenance of the calcium metabolism and increases the serum calcium levels, the symptoms of hypocalcemia are predominant in this case, that is, tetany or other signs of neuromuscular irritability, tingling in the circumoral region, especially in the hands as well as in the feet. The predominant ECG findings, especially you will see that is prolonged QT interval on ECG. In most severe cases, calcification of the lens may develop cataract. And also calcification of the basal ganglia develops Parkinson's disease, but it is rare. In all the conditions of hypocalcemia, whether it may be due to hypoparathyroidism or it may be due to vitamin D deficiency, whatever may be the cause, if hypocalcemia is the state, Trousseau sign and Chostrick sign are positive. So Trousseau sign is a carpal spasm two minutes after inflation of the blood pressure cuff that is above the systolic pressure and the Chostrick sign is the twitching of the facial muscles upon superficial trapping of the facial nerve. So both are positive in all the conditions of the hypocalcemic states. So here what are the clinical manifestations of hypocalcemia or hypoparathyroidism? So these are the acute manifestations. Acute manifestations are predominantly seen with the neuromuscular irritability that is tetany is the first initial sign of the hypocalcemia which is associated with the muscle twitching, Trousseau sign, Chostrick sign and seizures will develop in the later stages and cardiac abnormalities may also seen in the acute cases of hypocalcemia which are evident with the ECG findings that is prolonged QT interval, hypotension, heart failure, arrhythmia and papilledema, all these are the acute manifestations. If the hypocalcemic state is chronic, there will be ectopic calcification, extrapyramidal signs, Parkinsonism, dementia, subcapsular cataract,
or important manifestations under chronic conditions. And next, let us talk about the lab findings. In the lab findings, hypocalcemia is anyway seen. Along with it, in the hypoparathyroidism, hypocalcemia plus decreased PTH levels is a gold standard criteria to identify hypoparathyroidism, which is always associated with the increased serum phosphate levels. Now, what is the treatment? Treatment can be done with the calcium as well as vitamin D supplementation. So, this is what you should know about hypoparathyroidism.